Hello, welcome to another lecture. In this lesson, we are going to be working on how to do our exploded animation. So to start, let's go into motion study. And to do an exploded animation, you always have to have an exploded view in your valve, in your assembly before you can do it. And from when we were working in the assembly for this valve, we have created an exploded view for this valve. So now we can now do an exploded animation for it. Because you can't do an exploded animation without having the exploded view. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. Make sure you have your exploded view. So now when we go into the animation wizard, we can see this explode view is on. So we'll click this explode view and click next and the duration of the explode ex the the duration of the explode view um let's select we want it to explode for to last the explode view to last 10 seconds and we want it to start at zero and we'll click finish so now solidworks has automatically add those keyframes for the this the different steps in our in, in our exploded view so if I just click, um, so to, before we do that, let's right click and press disable playback of view keys. So if I click play, you, we can see that our valve is exploding. And all those part is exploding, which is the steps we did in our, in our, in our um, assembly when we were working on the assembly. So the next thing we need to do is, is um, we can just add an, a camera. So let's come down to the lights camera and right click, add a new camera and just move the target. Like I said, the first one is the target. The target is pretty much anywhere you want it. So let's um, select something. We can select that and we can zoom in and maybe for that selection we can select something so it's center something like that so i'm just showing you so we really don't need the and if you want to um add your part you can also add your part to it so for this you can move this and you can also use this gizmo um this gizmo to drag it back and forth so I can use it to move it left and right back and forth so it's a good way to control your so we have something like that so we'll click OK so we let's, let's play again and we see our assembly is rotating um, we might have to work on our target so let's right click on the camera properties and for the target let's select the body um no let's just i, I i'm looking for something let's delete that body i'm looking for a, a view that is on that the uh, that shows the entire um explode view so maybe i won't select anything i'll just leave it somewhere right here and i will click ok so if i play that again and our camera is moving because is and i'm glad this is happening see my timeline was on this on this on the 10 second when i edited my camera but if i go back to my first camera as you can see my camera is my camera's position is different from the camera at zero seconds and at 10 seconds so what i can do is copy right click copy that keyframe and make sure the timeline is on this and we'll right click and we'll press paste. So now my camera is the same. So when I um, play that again, now you can see that everything is falling on that. The view is falling under my explode view the way I want. So that is pretty much how you do an exploded view and we can save it again. We'll save it at to uh, you can name it X explode view 
so this is the, the way the option where you can select different type of file format will render it as Microsoft AVI and the renderer if you have photo view 360 photo view 360 option will be available under the renderer and uh, for our custom camera we can select 16 by 9 and we want to re render it at 25 frames per second and we'll click save and we'll click full frames on compress and click ok and the next thing we want to do is recalculate yes so now our animation is saving and it takes time for it to save and if you actually if you're actually um, working in if you're actually rendering it in photo view 360 it would actually even take much longer to render so once this is done I will show you what it looks like um, just a second it takes time it takes a little bit time for it to render um, it's almost done last one there you go so if I browse to my file location and click on my explode view there goes the animation anyway thank you guys and that is how you do your explode animation in SOLIDWORKS thank you and I will see you in the next lecture bye